So vidIQ, which is the software for YouTubers, which has millions of creators using it, has rolled out the AI coach and three other AI features to help creators get more views, save time, and grow your YouTube channel. In this video, I'll walk through all of the AI features and compare it to ChatGPT so you can find out if it's the right tool for you. And if you want to learn more, use my link in the description when you sign up so you can get a nice discount. So what is vidIQ AI? Well, it has four main AI features. Number one, it has AI title recommendations. Number two, it has daily video ideas, which are personalized to your channel. Number three, it has an AI description generator, which connects to your YouTube studio backend. And number four, it has the AI coach, which is built specifically for YouTubers and personalized to your channel. Think of this like ChatGPT, but specifically trained to help YouTubers. And as the more you use it, the better it gets at giving you advice. Basically, these AI features have everything for your YouTube channel except for editing videos. You can use it for YouTube strategy, brainstorming video ideas based on actual data and search volume, and then also make outlines, script videos, and more. You can even ask it for advice on how to fix your YouTube channel. And then as a bonus, of course, you get all of the non-AI features that vidIQ comes with, such as the keyword research, trending topics, analytics, bulk SEO, and much more. But in this video, we'll just focus on the AI part. So that's the overview on vidIQ's AI features. You get those four main features. Now let's look through each one and how it works. So when you log into the vidIQ dashboard and you scroll down, you will see the first AI tool here, which is the title recommendations. And it just says add keywords that you want to base your titles on. And let's say I want to do a video on crypto airdrop guide, get title ideas. As you can see, it generates five ideas here. You can copy that or generate new recommendations if you don't like what pops up. And there you go. Now, obviously, you can do this within ChatGPT. However, you can't just enter three words. You would actually have to tell ChatGPT to write a title, prompt it, and that takes a little bit extra time. This is just a convenient way. You enter your keywords and boom, it spits out some pretty good title recommendations. Now, if you go into your actual YouTube studio, you will see the Get AI Title Recommendations here as well. So you can do that inside where you're actually uploading your videos. And as you can see, here are some more recommendations. And this is done by installing the vidIQ Chrome extension, which you can see here. The second AI tool is the AI description generator. So if you want to write YouTube descriptions, you will see this AI description generators and you just add keywords that you want to include in your description. So this video is how to do your crypto taxes if you're in Canada. So the keywords I would want are Coinly tutorial, crypto taxes, maybe Canada, and you can add up to a hundred characters here. So let's put a bunch of keywords to see what it gives us. You'll click generate and then it gives you three different outputs that you can select from. Now, in my experience, this might be a good first draft, but I will always really be editing it. But that is the AI description generator. Now, let's actually just copy this and as a test, put this into ChatGPT. So as we see here, write a YouTube description for how to do crypto taxes in under 13 minutes with the keywords. And as you can see in ChatGPT, it's giving me a much longer response. And I actually think this is better than what vidIQ gave me. And it's much easier to customize. However, this is is just the version in your YouTube studio. Let's see what happens when I put this into the actual vidIQ chatbot and this is what it gives me as well. And it remembers your conversation just like ChatGPT so you can ask it can you make it longer and add H2s and there we go that is a better result for what I want on my description. Anyways that's a little comparison. The third AI feature that vidIQ offers is the daily ideas and you can see that in the navigation at the top here. You can click on this and this will give you customized ideas every single day that are personalized to your channel. So when you sign up for vidIQ you obviously have to connect your account and it will give you ideas every single day. Now you'll also see this in your dashboard right at the front here and you can add customized ideas. So if I want to do, let's say crypto wallet, it'll brainstorm ideas relative to crypto wallets. As you can see, it gives you the title and the view prediction. How many views will it have? You can also scroll down and just get your daily personalized ideas. If you're on the boost plan, you're going to get 50 daily video ideas on the pro plan for $10 a month, you will get 10 daily video ideas. And the more you do this, the more the AI learns what you like and it will give you better ideas over time. So here we can see how to get a free virtual credit card 2023. Quick background, my crypto channel is all about helping Canadians with cryptocurrency and reviewing crypto products and so on. So in my personalized idea, it's given me things like credit card content, 
how to get crypto airdrops, how to instantly increase your credit score and so on. And let's say you like an idea, you can go here and click save. This will go to your saved ideas list, which you can see I have here, how to find 100X altcoins, how to pick the best AI crypto coins, etc., etc. And this is all teaching the AI what I like. And you can also dismiss ideas that you don't like, and that will also train the AI. Now the fourth AI feature is the actual AI coach. Now with ChatGPT, you can ask it YouTube related questions, but you obviously have to give it a prompt first. You have to tell it that you're making a YouTube video, all that stuff. This is already built with all the YouTube related stuff built into it. And it's also personalized to your channel. So essentially this is your personal AI coach for YouTube. And then here we have just some pre-selected prompts that you can enter. So give me five video ideas about crypto wallets for beginners. And let's see what it pops up with and how to set up a crypto wallet, pros and cons, how to choose the right crypto wallet, tips and tricks, and that's very good. If we enter the same thing into ChatGPT, I'm just gonna add YouTube videos so it knows. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. And here we also got some pretty good responses. What is a crypto wallet? Why do you need one? How to set up and use a hardware wallet? How to choose the right crypto wallet? And it actually gave me a little bit of a description after each one without even asking it to. So that's the comparison right there. Uh, with the vidIQ coach, you can really do anything. One, you can write a script, you can write an outline, you can get video ideas, you can fix titles, you can even ask it for advice. So let's go through some more examples on how to use this. Let's say I like idea number two, brainstorm five. And really quickly it outputted these results here, which crypto wallet is best for beginners, difference between crypto wallets and so on. Now let's actually see if we can write a outline for number two. I think this is where it starts to get really powerful. We have, what's the difference between crypto wallets? Introduction, what are they and why do you need one? The types of crypto wallets, and this is very good right here. Hot wallets, cold wallets, hardware, software and paper, pros and cons, security, summary, etc. Write the introduction from number one, give me three variations. And I think the prompts are pretty fast compared to ChatGPT. Are you looking to own and store cryptocurrency? Then you'll need a crypto wallet. But which one should you use? In this article, it should say video. We will explore the different types of wallets and compare their features and benefits. And you can see the other outputs here. So now we have a video idea. We have an introduction. Write the full script for the video. So it finishes at pros and cons. So let's see if we can just write continue. I'm gonna speed this up. There we go. So it's actually pretty good at writing the script. However, it did miss a lot of the outline. It didn't give us the full thing. So maybe we can go through it step by step. I won't do that throughout this video just to keep it short. But as you can see, the examples, we can go from ideas to scripts to brainstorms and just do a lot like this. Now you can also just ask it for things like advice. My channel is not growing, what do I do? And it'll give you some really quick advice. You can also ask, what are some profitable YouTube niches? Give me ideas that most people won't think about. We have product reviews, cooking and baking, home improvement, language learning. And honestly, I think these are pretty generic categories. Now, if I asked it a different, more specific prompt, here we actually get a better response. Car maintenance tutorials, pet care, house cleaning hacks, gardening, personal finance, etc. If we compare that to the chat GPT response, it's giving us a little bit longer answers, but actually some very cool responses. Antique restoration, tiny house living, geocaching, urban exploration, dumpster diving. And obviously we can ask chat GPT why these niches might be more profitable. And here you can see vidIQ actually just gives it kind of a basic response. Whereas ChatGPT breaks down each niche that it selected and told us why it's more profitable. So geocaching, while these niches may have a smaller audience, it's highly engaged in a passionate one. As a result, there may be opportunities for sponsorships or ads from outdoor gear and GPS device companies. So, so far, I think that ChatGPT is giving better responses than the vidI vidIQ AI coach. However, please be aware that this is an alpha version of the AI as it says on the bottom. So this will improve. So that's the summary of the vidIQ AI features. Again, we have the AI title recommendations, the description generator, the daily ideas, and the AI coach, which we just went through. Now, how much does all of this cost? Well, you can start with the pro membership for $10 a month. This will give you 10 daily video ideas powered by AI, keyword research, and all of the other non-AI features. I think the best one might be the boost plan because you get 50 daily video ideas with the AI and you get all the other features plus all of the non-AI features, of course. Now, in my personal experience, I think the daily ideas and the AI title recommendations are the best AI features so far. With the daily ideas, it's really cool because it's using data to 
predict ideas and it's personalized to your channel and, and it gets better at recommending it over time. And you can look at all of these ideas, pause the screen if you want to read them. But if I go to my saved ideas, I've already got some really good ideas that I like that I might make videos on in the future. And this is already really valuable because these ideas are based on actual keyword volume. When it comes to the AI coach, I think this can get better, especially when it's competing against ChatGPT, the free version. However, this is still an alpha and I think it is already very useful. My overall thoughts is I think this is a really good tool especially for the daily video ideas and then obviously you get all of the other features that come along with this software and i wish i found this tool sooner because i can really see how this helps you grow your youtube channel from ideas to keyword research finding new opportunities and using it every part of your video process so i'm going to use this in the future if you want to sign up for vidiq I will put a link in the description. I would love to hear what you think about in the comments. And if you want to find the best AI tools, make sure to subscribe to the channel and go to comparing.ai to get your free list of 25 AI tools that you can start using today. It's actually closer to 50 tools now because I'm always adding to the database. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.